Hi guys, this is Ilory and welcome to Peace Consumer Channel. In today's video, we'll discuss Maxim men's magazine. Many of you know this periodical for its covers, which traditionally feature beautiful girls. I don't wanna... Our today's guest participated in the contest of the Maxim. My name is Jessica Lynn and I recently competed in the Maxim Cover Girl competition and I feel I was scammed. She thinks the magazine tricked her and her fans. And in doing so, it made a nice profit. But first, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and write a comment whether you read glossy magazines. And if so, which ones? Now, let's start. To appear on a magazine cover is still a cherished dream for many girls. Now you don't have to be a professional model to do it. It's often enough to pay a great deal of money or you need someone to do it for you. Men's magazine Maxime holds paid contests for girls to get the right to a Dorn cover. Here's how it works. Readers can vote for their favorite models once a day for free. Those who want to vote more can pay some money to do so. Each consecutive vote costs $1. The magazine states that the part of revenue will be used to support veterans' organizations. There is much controversy in the media regarding the fair distribution of the funds from this contest. Our guest has even more questions about the justice in this contest. Jessica is a model from Virginia. She posted a smashing review on our website describing her experience of participating in a contest held by Maxime magazine. She estimates her loss at $3,140. Let's listen to her story. I recently did the Maxime Covergirl competition and the, the competition lasts for three months, which is quite an extensive period of time for a competition for anybody to do, emotionally and physically. Um, it's all done through social media, through Facebook or Instagram, TikTok, wherever on a social media plat a platform that you can share a voting link. They have you upload your photographs to their website and they give you the opportunity to have a free daily vote from your fans or supporters. Um, or they offer for you to be able to buy um, or your fans to be able to buy votes for you, which is called Warrior Voters. The Warrior Voters were for um, a charity foundation that Maxim chooses for that year that they do the competition. This year ended up being Jared Allen's Homes for Wounded Warriors, which is um, an organization that goes in and they um, either build or put a veteran in a home that's handicapped accessible for them so that they can stay home and cook in their home and use their home and not have to be. And that was their charity foundation for this year. Um, I made it to second in my group, which is way up there, I think, because it's um, probably 30 to 40,000 women that enter this competition per year. And if you think about it, that's a lot of women to enter a competition. To do any competition. Um, I made it to my group finals as first in my group and I was first in my group and I held that position for almost a month straight. Um, but like I said, the competition allows the option for anybody to buy votes and it goes up to $250 at a time and I think the minimum was $10. Um, they gave the option, I think it was once every week or twice a week during each round, and they doubled the votes, which meant if somebody had the money and they could spend $250, it would double the votes to 500 and that person could easily go into first place and knock you out of the competition, which is kind of sort of what happened to me in the group finals round. Um, and at the last minute, and I do mean the last few minutes of the time clock going, I was voted to second place and they put me in a wild card round is what they liked to call it. 
which is where they took all of the second place contestants from each group and put us all in groups, other groups with other women that placed second and had us battle basically to, to, um, to make it to another first place position. And I made it to second. Uh, when the wild card round started, I started in third place and I had warrior voters, multiple warrior voters that were spending hundreds of dollars for me up into the last few minutes of the time clock um, for each round, for the group finals round and the wild card round. And my voting dashboard, they make it visible for each contestant to log into their voting dashboard and view who voted for them, when, how much was like donated for the warrior votes. And it went blank. It went completely blank. All I had was a white screen, which was a huge red flag to me during the competition when there's multiple people submitting hundreds of warrior votes. And I now have, I'm blinded. It, it went blank. So I have no proof to show my, my voters where that money went and why I wasn't voted to first to go to the next round. So a lot of people are upset about this. A lot of people are angry about it. They want to know where the money went. Um, I took screenshots of what my voting dashboard looked like. I took screenshots that were sent to me from my voters of how much was spent on me. And it's, I mean, over $3,000 we're talking just in votes of money that people bought to vote me to the next round. And I was eliminated. My voting dashboard for both rounds went completely blank. I was blind and I couldn't see anything. So there's no proof. I sent all of the screenshots along with a long, specified, detailed email to Maxim. And I got back that I should trust and believe their moderators and trust and believe that they have tallied all of the votes correctly and that I should trust their competition. I'm sorry, no, that's not okay with me. No multi-million dollar company or magazine should expect for their consumer to trust them with that much money at stake with a competition like this. And I'm telling you as a very upset consumer that my voting dashboard is completely blank. You need to be able to provide photo do photographic documentation showing me where this money went so that I can show these people, hey, it's okay, this is where the money went. It's, it's, it's a legit competition. They are completely refusing to send me any photographs. They're telling me that they cannot do so and that they will further investigate it after the competition um, is over with, which is August 18th. So they're expecting from me to just wait and be okay with this until after the competition ends and then get, they said, the last most four recent warrior voters, which is, there's way more of warrior voters than that, than four. They should be able to send me all of them. Has anything like this happened to Jessica before? This is my third magazine competition that I've done on social media. So what I have found with doing these magazine competitions, pretty much all of them are just about the same. They all ask you for money for a sponsored charity organization. They might tell you that it's free to vote. That is true to an extent, but they all have fees. What they do, if you read and go in the, and actually read these contests rules, which they allow you to do, I mean, on any of these websites, you can just scroll to the bottom and it says rules, um, privacy, um, contact us or support. All of, most websites have this at the bottom. You can do that for Maxim. Just scroll to the bottom, it says contest rules. It shows you in the contest rules, the schedule and everything. I don't know why they think it's, it's okay to to tell somebody that, that I should trust you and that you have, have that, that your moderators have done their job and that I should trust you with $1,100 of last minute votes that were put in for me. And, and I couldn't see where they went 
physically with my own two eyes and my dashboard goes blank and you can't tell me why. And then I ask you for a photograph, which I think a million dollar or multi-million dollar uh, magazine company should have the technology to be able to send somebody a photograph of their dashboard. If I have the capability on my iPhone to take a, a screenshot of my voting dashboard of other times or take screenshots of anything, then they should be able to do the same to send me a photograph of my dashboard. Why tell me that I have to wait until August 18th or afterwards until you investigate it? So which solution does Jessica see? Basically, at this point, I just want to educate as many people as possible um, about the company, about these magazine competitions. And I don't feel that all of them are scams, but this one in particular, I do feel in my heart is a scam. Anybody that can take that much money from somebody and then not tell them or give them access to their account, even after the competition has ended and they have been eliminated, they should be able to have access to their account to be able to see where that that amount of money has gone. And it makes me feel bad because I've done this competition and I've gotten all these supporters from people all over the world we're talking. And these people have invested in me. And it makes me feel bad because they've gotten scammed too. Currently in the competition, and this is another red flag that is a scam. A contestant by the, I'm going to say the first name, Melissa, that is in, when I last looked this morning, is in fifth place in one of the quarterfinal groups. There's no photograph of the contestant at all. And it's been blank that way for the last two rounds. I've been watching it. Um, it's just a blank black photo. And when you click on the contestant's uh, profile and scroll down to look at the other, all of the photos, it's completely blank. It's just a black, blank photo. So that baffles me how people are voting for a contestant that has has been uh, vacant from the competition for the last two rounds, pretty, pretty much, because there's been no photograph. How do people know what they're voting for or who they're voting for if there has not been a photograph? So Maxim needs to explain that as well to contestants. That's a huge red flag. I hope this video will serve as a lesson to many people. The most important thing is to remember that you are beautiful either way. Don't let anyone to cash in on your desire for self-gratification. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.